G'day golfers. How important is the mental game to you? Put your answer to this question down in the chat. Give it to me as a percentage. I'm Steve Gannon and welcome to Aussie Golf Bros. High performance coaches, golf psychologists and mental game coaches. And there's been a bunch of case studies where this question was asked. So of all the golfers that were asked, they said that the mental game or having the right mindset to play golf was worth 80%. 80%! That's how important it is. And that's how much it's worth for them to play good golf. Now in these case studies, the flip question was then asked. Okay, you put 80% worth of importance on mental game and mindset in playing and accessing your best skills. How much actual practice or study are you putting into the mental game. What was that percentage? Now that come out around 10%. Literally over 80% was all range work, little bit of putting, little bit of chipping, and virtually no work on golf specific work on their body, on their nutrition, and next to nothing on the mental game. It affects people's ego. They don't want to really admit that they don't know how to think correctly on the golf course. It's much more tangible to go grab another 50 balls and hit them on the range. Put your practice into percentage, or put into macro blocks. So range, which is full shots, mid and long, short game, pitching, chipping bunkers, putting, physical preparation, gym, stretching, all of these types of things, and then mental game. Then I want you to have a look at what important percentage you put on the mental game to play better golf, as opposed to how much work you're putting into it. Have a look at those two stats and see if they, if they add up, see if they stack up, see if they make sense. I'll be back next week with another little bite-sized chunk, just little things that you can introduce into your game to help you have a better mental game, a better mindset out on the golf course to help you play better golf and focus on the things that you want to do really well to lower your score. Now seriously ask yourself, if you're not doing any mental game work whatsoever, are you the best golfer that you can be?